Hey everybody, it's Chris, and welcome to part four of the Create a Login and Registration page using Laravel and Bootstrap. At the end of the last video, we finished up by creating this route to the reg for register. <clears throat> so now we're going to go ahead and create that view. So we're going to grab, go into our views folder, go into our use user folder, and create a new file. I'm going to save this as register.blade.php, so register.blade.php, have it in there, and as always, we're going to target the master route, master page, section content, and we're going to end our section. Next, we're going to have a div of row. Dot row that span four, just like on the other one. Offset four. A div with a class of well. Inside that. And inside that, we're going to have a legend. And because I'm not in PHP right now, node on Sublime, it's not going to work. So we throw that in there. Try it one more time. There we go. So here we're going to say please register. And now we'll switch back to Laravel and we'll complete our form. So, form, we're going to go ahead and open it. I did it wrong, so form open. We'll post it to the register route. Now, our first field we're gonna have we're going to use a username because <clears throat> there's two way, different ways that you could log in using Laravel, and both those are set up inside these either it's either the sessions or the application PHP full file, and I'll go over that at the end of this video. But for right now, username second value is going to be null. Remember, if you don't throw null in there, you'll get an error. And we're going to throw in the same class as we did last time, so array class with a value of span 3. Let's give it a placeholder. The value of username. Okay. There's that. Let's just go ahead and save this real quick and save this route. Go in, we'll click register, and yes, it's working. So, go back into our register. We'll now pass in the value for text. Uh, it's going to be email. So, email. Again, secondary value is going to be null. So, a class. Span three. On a placeholder with a value of email. And that can happen. So we'll have that back in there. Next, we we'll have our password field. So form text. Sorry, not form text, but form password. Password does not take a second value, so we're just going to throw in a class and array. So class of span3 and a placeholder. And that's going to be mm, password. Alright, that's done. We're going to give a submit button. So, form. There's way too many curly braces here. Form submit. And it's going to say register. Give a class, array class of button and button warning. So, button 
I mean, I mean spaces. Button. Warning. Let's go out. Check it out. And there's an error. Now this is what it says. See, it's not even referencing our view. It's going into the actual storage file. So it says on line nine. I don't think that's where it's going to be at. Form register, email. Oh, there. We didn't close the form. Go back out, refresh, and it's still not working. Just give me a second here as I figure this out. Okay, what we did was we forgot to, or I forgot rather, to add the second parenthesis there. So now it should work. So here we go. So here's our registration file, username, email, password. Now, I told you I was going to show you how to use this to something different than the email for this and it's going to be in here and it's going to be author this it's going to be in your auth your auth php file your authentication beach file and here the default is username is email and you can actually change it to use username username so that's it we still have three minutes left in the video, and I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and set this up so we can get the coding, the actual PHP part in part five. So I'm going to go ahead and have this control here set up for home already. And I'm going to go ahead and just change that right route and show you that it does indeed work when we do this. So we're going to just go ahead and get rid of all that right there. And we're just going to say home at index. So you're using the home controller, the index method of that controller to pull in that file. And we go in and we go back at login tutorial and refresh and it works. So now that route is tied to the controller. And inside the controller, I just had it. Well, you can see that we're using REST, and I'll go over that more when we create the next the user uh, user controller, which will be in the next video. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this in because it's not gonna take long to create to do the markup for the controller itself. So, create a new file. Control Shift S. I'm gonna create it. Save it as the user.php file. Go ahead and open up our PHP tags. Get rid of our trailing PHP tag and class user controller extends base controller. We're using I'm gonna be using REST, so all my methods will be RESTful actions. So public and how we use REST is just public RESTful. If I can spell it equals true and there we go so let's go up and set the methods up or functions whatever you want to call them so public function get index or a public function get index that will get us to the login page we're going to have a public function post index, which will post our login data. We're going to have a public function get register.
public function post register to post our registration information and finally we have a public function actually we're going to need a profile page so public function get profile and this is just going to be a simple profile page it says that greets us and tells us makes tells us that we're actually logged in and then finally public function we need log we need a way to log out so public function log out okay that went a little over but in this video we created the registration page we set up a route to the home controller using the rest using the controller instead of using a route here next video we'll go ahead and move these function these this code that's in these functions in the route we'll go ahead and move those to a controller and start coding the actual code so like I, uh, like I keep saying go ahead and click the ads they support us subscribe like share and I'll be back with part 5 of creating a login registration form using Laravel and Bootstrap.